we will continue working on uh, section 3.9 that we have uh, already started in the previous class. Um, I, as, as, as I said yes, about in the previous class, it is important to recall uh, some geometrical formulas for the volume, the area, the surface area, the circumference, and so on. So these are just uh, the most important ones. But of course, you may need others. And uh, we have solved in the previous class, I think, two examples about the related rates. What we mean by the related rates, you have a problem, you have two quantities or more, but usually in this course, we will have two quantities in, 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 in uh, mainly. Uh, two quantities, uh, uh, they change with time. And there is the rate of their change. So we will apply the idea of the rate of change. And you know that the rate of change is uh, just a derivative with time here, because we are talking about real life problems that uh, represent quantities change with time. If you remember in the first example, we had um, a spherical balloon that uh, its volume is increasing with time. And we have the rate of increasement of the volume. We need to find the, the rate of uh, increasing of the radius. And we first uh, in, um, uh, determine what is given, what is required. And then we, the most important step is how to find the relationship between these uh, two variables, V and R, the volume and the radius. And then after that, you will differentiate then in the last step, you will substitute by the given values. If you look at this old exam question, it is almost the same idea that uh, for, for your question. Uh, for example one, this is just direct application for, for example one. So if, if you finish example one and understand that you will be able to solve this easily because we, he, we are talking about here is fair and he gave you uh, the rate of, of uh, change of the radius and he will ask for the rate of change of the volume. In the example, he gave you the volume and he asked for the, for the radius. Here is the, the opposite, but the idea is the same. This is much easier. So we gave you uh, uh, like seven steps that uh, like, uh, these are like guidelines for you to, to follow. Um, when you solve such problems. Be careful that step number six is coming before number seven, which means don't substitute before differentiating. You need to differentiate first and then substitute to avoid any error. Also, we have solved this example in the previous class. If you remember, Shabab, it was about a ladder that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, rests against a wall and of course, here uh, you need to uh, find the rate of change of the vertical distance when you have the, the, the horizontal distance. Uh, and the main part here is this relationship. What is the relationship between X and Y, the vertical and the horizontal distances? And by Pythagorean theorem, it is this one. After that, you will differentiate and substitute. It is so easy after that. So I think this is the example that we need to work on today. So read this, read this step number one, read your problem carefully and understand it until you understand it. If you didn't understand it, you cannot solve it. So let's read it Shabab, together, please. I will give you like 20 seconds to read it by yourself and try to uh, figure it out. Try to draw a figure for it. If you understand that you will be able to draw a figure.
Are you okay now, Shabab, with that? Who can tell me what is this problem? Is it is it area problem? Is it volume problem? Is it uh, Pythagorean theorem or whatever? What what we uh, what, what is it about? Volume. Is it area area? Volume. Volume. From where you know that it is about volume? Uh, because it's, uh, something bumped into uh, its water and level. Two and meter cube. Two meter cube. Will help you. Yes, you are right. Because we are talking, uh, this is the same idea of example one. You have uh, a water that is bumped into a tank. So it is about a volume. It is all about capacity also, if you want to, to, to think about it like that. So we have a water tank has the shape of inverted circular circular cone so what is what we need to know is what is the volume what is the volume of the cone you need to remember what is the volume of the cone and everything related to the cone the the word inverted here you usually the cone is like this the word inverted it means that it is upside down like this uh, with base radius so if you have, if this is your, your cone, uh, it will be inverted. If this is your cone, the radius, the base radius, so this is the radius of the base, is uh, two, two uh, the, uh, the base radius is two meter and the height is four meters. So the height of the cone is, uh, this is the height, is four. So R is, uh, uh, Two and of course uh, the height is four. Of course, if if uh, it is uh, the level of the water is up to there, so the level of the water is up to four. If water is being dropped into the tank at a rate of two, so we have d what d what over what d what d what it is two. What is it? What will be changed when we, uh, if the water being bumped into the tank at a rate of this? So what is this? D what over what? Dx over r. Dx. H over r. H over r. This is dh dr. Is it the rate of a change of the of the height with respect to the radius? And uh, no. dh over t. Oh, first of all, this cannot be r. It is t. It is change with time. Look. Minute. Okay, and this one is cannot be h. Cannot be the height. What is the unit here? Dv. Look, this is meter cube per minute. So what is this, Shabab? Dv. Dv. This is volume. This is volume. This is time. So this is v and this is t. So it is dv dt. Where v here is the the volume. What is the question? So that this is what is given. What is um, what is required? What is unknown? Find the rate at which the the water level the water level. This is the water. Let's say the, the water is up to here. This is the water. So at uh, he said find the rate at which the water level is rising when the water is three meter deep. What is this? When the water is three meter deep. So what we want, he asking about the level rising, the level, so he's right. asking about dh, dt, am I right? Yes. Because this is the level, the level, when h is here, is here, is here, is here. So it is dh, dt, but what is this? When x equal to three. What is x? What is x? We didn't mention x here. When h. 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 H is three. This is when, what is the HDT when H is three? Yes. So it is important to understand the problem. And if you can, if you can uh, translate it from English to mathematics, you are done. So let's now see the solution is here, but I want you to think about it without looking at the solution. And this is what you should usually do, ya shabab. Don't look at the solution, try to solve it. Because we had previous two examples. So this is the cone that we have. This is the radius. And the radius of the base is two, it is given. It is fixed. But of course, the radius here will be changed because it is a cone. It will not be the same always. 
And of course, we have the, the whole height, the whole height of uh, the, the, the cone is four. H here is a, quant, uh, is a, a variable, it, it change. It depends on the, the, the amount of the, the water that is bumped. H could be here if you just uh, or, uh, fill and, uh, up to here. If you fill more, so it will be changed with time. It depends on how, how and on the amount of water uh, has been bumped to the core. And of course, the radius also will be changed. According, I'm talking about the radius of the level of the water, not about the radius itself of the, of the, of the core. So this is what we have. So it is important to mention your, your notation. What is V? Let's V be the volume. R is the radius of the surface, the radius of the surface of the water, and H is the height of the water. Now, what is given, what is required? What is given is dv dt. This is what is given, dv dt. What is unknown, dh dt, when h is 3. It is, uh, he will not ask you dh dt in general. It might be in some specific problems, but usually when he asking about something, it should be at specific uh, data, not in general. So it is, don't forget this always. So now the most important step is the next one. Now, what is the relationship? What is the relationship, ya What is it? Now, what are my quantities? My quantities are V, R, and H. What is the relationship between them? Uh, the volume. The volume of the cone. Okay, I don't know what is the volume of the cone. Do you know what is it? Who knows what is it? If you forget it, it's okay at the beginning, but at the end, you should know what is it. Here it is. This is the cone. This is the volume of the cone, and this is the surface area of the cone. Don't forget them. So the volume of the cone is third by R squared H. So this is the relationship between them. So here we are. This is the relationship between V and H is this. V and H and R, of course, it should be mentioned here. Wow, so here V is a function of two variables now. Is R, is R here, H, is H is a constant? No, it, it changed with time. What about R? Is R a constant or it changed with time? Constant. It, it, no, R is a change with time. We are not talking about this R, Shabab. This is the, 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 of the cone itself. I'm talking about the radius of the surface of the, of the water. It will be changed when you raise it. If when you raise it up, the maximum will be two. The maximum value for the radius will be two. For sure, it is less than two. But what is it? So also, it is not a constant. It is a variable. So now, when I differentiate, when I take dv dt, what I will do? I should take here the product rule. Do you remember that? We should apply it because I have two functions and two variables. So it will be complicated, and we need here v to be a function of two variables. And this is not the level of this course, yes, Shabab. You are going to study this in math 201 when you have a function of two variables. Here we need just to deal with functions of one variable. So I don't want two variables. I need just one variable. So what should we do? Just I want to focus on h, yes, Shabab, because this is what I want. So to, to, to solve this problem, there is a, a nice trick. What is it? Ask yourself, what is the relationship between H and R? Is there a relationship between them? Let's go back here to the, to the shape. What is this? This is R. What is this? Okay. So this is this is a right right a triangle. Also, if you compare it with the bigger one, from the similarity of the triangles, Ishabab. From the similarity of the triangles, do you remember the similarity of the triangles? When you have uh, this one is the smaller one, and you have another one the same but bigger. 
the same angles, the same uh, angle here, it is the same theta here. So theta is the same. So this is this is L, this is R, this is H. If you compare it with the bigger one, this is two, this is four. Am I right? So the relationship between them from the similarity of the triangle means the shape of the triangle, the ratio R over H will be what? R على H will be two over what? Over four. So what I want to do. I want to um, remove or eliminate R and write instead of it H because I need just relationship between V and H because I have DV DT, I, have D, I need the H DT. So I need to eliminate R. If he asking about R, I will eliminate H. So it depends on what do you want. So, yes. Uh, how do you, can I know the D what over D what? From the question, which water level? The water level here, is it the height or the radius? I mean, the unknown, the dh over dt. This it's, it's, yes, this is what I'm talking about, Abdul Aziz. Awesome, awesome. Asking about at uh, find the rate, the rate at which the water level is rising. So the water level is rising. What is this? Who is rising here? Is it h, h or r? H. H. If he asking about find or at which rate is the uh, radius of the water, the water or the surface of the water will be changed, you will use R. Now, as I said, from the similarity of the triangles, we have R over H equals to two over four. And from here, it is a half, which means that R is just the half of H. Interesting. The radius here is the half of the of the height. Doctor, he now, square. he has squares. Now we will square it. Yes, we will square it and put it here. So look what we will do. We will write instead of R H over two, and we will square it. This is now the function. Now I have V V as a function of H only. So it is a function of H, not a function of two variables. Now I can differentiate now. So this is my relationship, Shabab. This is the relationship. The relationship is this. This is the main step in the problem. Now, differentiate both sides. So here, dv dt with respect to time, of course. This will be 3, three over 12. It will be 4 by h squared dh dt. Now, I have this. I have this, by the way. He gave me h, and I need this. So solve it for dh dt, divide both sides by this. It will be four over by h cubed uh, or h squared. Now substitute h is three and this is two. So this is two, h is three, now simplify. So dh dt is nine uh, or eight, nine over, uh, eight over nine by meter per minute amount meter per minute. Is that clear, Shabab? If you have any question, let's have an old exam question. One minute to, to read it, Shabab. Or and why you 30 seconds? Let's read it together. A water tank has the shape of inverted circular cone. What is this? A water tank has the shape of inverted circular cone. They are copy best the example. Uh, doctor. Yes. Uh, is the formula is always given like this volume? Of no, time? no. There is no guarantee. Okay. It could be, but if you solve two or three problems that talking about a cone, you will memorize it by default. Okay. Um, so we have a water tank has the shape that inverted cone that the base radius is three and the height is six. If the water being pumped into the tank is a rate is three meter, find the rate at which the water level is rising. What is this? This is copy based of example number uh, three or number four, number three. So I will not solve it. If you have to solve it, Shabab. If you understand the example, you will be able to solve it. And very easy, it will be very easy. 
Now, let's go to another example. We have here, again, I will give you two, uh, let's say 20 seconds to read it. Yalla. Try to understand it, try to sketch a figure. This is important. Sketch the figure of the problem, find the relationship, uh, determine the variables. What are the variables? What are the constants? What are the rate of change that you want to find? What are the rates of change that they are given? And what is the relationship? The main step is how to find the relationship between your variables. Read it. Remember, Shabab, if this is the north, this will be what? The east, the west, and this is the south. Am I right? West to the left, east to the right. This is the, this is all the opposite. Here it is. News. If you want to remember it, it is just uh, news. News, yes. So, what we have here, we have a car that is traveling west. So it, it is it's going this way, this is the west. And he gave me the rate at uh, which is traveling, uh, 90 kilometers per hour. And car B is traveling north. So we have, I don't know, it could be here, it could be here. I, I need to decide, to read the problem to decide. So if this is the north, it will travel this direction, this way. Now, both cars are headed for the intersection of the two routes. So they will meet each other. So if they are going to meet each other, this is not accepted. So they will go this way. At uh, there will be an intersection point here between them at the end at some time. At what rate are the cars approaching each other when car A is 60 meter and car B is 80 meter from the intersection? So here, when the distance from here to, if this is car A and this is car B. Now, after some time, Tom, and here, this, this, the distance from here to here, it will be a variable. It will change. And also here, this will be changed. So let's say this is X, this is Y. Now, this will be the X DT. And this will be the X, the Y DT. And of course, at some time, at certain distance, he gave me that certain distance. When this is 60 and this is 80, what will be? What will be the distance between them? And he said, at what rate of car approaching each other? So this distance from here to, let's call it Z, he asking about the ZDT. Let me make it clear. I think the graph here will be better than mine. Yes. So what we have here, we have a car that is going this way. And another car that is going this way. So this is the distance. This distance is, is a variable. So let's call it X. And this is a variable of time, of course. Let's call it Y. Now he asking about, um, at which, at what rate, so he asking about D, 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 something, D, T. At what rate the car approaching each other. So when they will meet each other, they will meet approach the other when they are in the intersection point. So here they will be, the distance between them will be zero and they will approach each other. So now, of course, the distance between them, it is a variable, it will change. Look, when they are here, it will be smaller and smaller and smaller, it will be like this. So let's call it Z, the distance between A and B, let's call it Z, it is also a variable. And he asking about DZ, DT, not in general, he asking about DZ, DT, when what? When, the, when this distance, when X, when X is 60 and Y is 80, okay? 
Is it understood, ya shabab, until now? So let's see be the intersection point of the roads. And X is the distance from A to C, and uh, Y is the distance uh, from uh, B to C, and Z is the distance between the two cars. Now, what is uh, this? This represents what, ya shabab? This is, as I said, it is dx dt, and this will be d y dt. Am I right? Look what is important here for you to realize that the dx dt is not 90, it is negative 90. And dy dt, it is what? Negative 100. This is new trick that we didn't talk about before. Why they are negative, ya shabab? Why they are, the rate of change here are negative? Because it's going left, maybe. Uh-huh. Going to the negative axis. The reason is the derivatives are negative because X and Y are what? Decreasing. Is the distance here going to be increased or decreased? Is it going to be bigger or smaller when the, when the car is moving here? Yes. It will be decreasing, it will be smaller also here. We didn't, we didn't meet such case in the, prof, in the previous examples. Let's go back and watch them. For example, in this example here, the water, the level of the water, is it, is it going to be increased or decreased here? It will be increasing, yes. okay. increasing. So the rate of change, the rate of change that we said here, the volume will be increasing. So it is positive. Let's go to example two. Example two, dx dt, this distance, this distance, is it increasing or de decreasing? Decreasing. Increasing, it is increasing, so it is positive. But what about this? This, this, this rate, this, this distance, is it going to be, be bigger or smaller? Smaller. Look what happened to its value at the end. It becomes negative. So if you have a, diff, a, a positive quant, if you have increasing variable, increasing function, its derivative will be positive. And if you have a decreasing, it will be negative. And you know that from the linear, the linear functions, do you remember? When you have increasing line, its, its slope will be positive. And if, he, if it is uh, decreasing this way, it, its slope will be negative. So the derivative is the slope. The rate of change is the derivative. This is very important trick. Many students, they forget to mention that it is, is it positive or negative? So ask yourself, is it increasing or decreasing? If it is increasing, consider it positive rate of change. And if it is decreasing, its rate of change will be negative. Very important trick in this example. Uh, how is why uh, decreasing? The car is moving here. This is the intersection point. Look at the direction, the distance, what is why? Why is the distance between the car B and the intersection point here? This is the head of the car, the distance. The distance from the car to the distance. The car is going to be going. The car is going to be going. Ah, okay. Well, can I, it is not going away from the, the point. Okay, now, the most important thing is what is the relationship? What is the relationship between, between the, 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 the variables here? I have here x, y, and z. What is the relationship between them? Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, Allah is alayh. We have, ya shabab, a right triangle. We have a right triangle, so the relationship between them will be what? x squared plus y squared equals to z squared. So this is what is unknown. I, I forgot to mention it, but I mentioned it at the beginning. D, this is the relationship between them. Z cubed is X squared plus. Now what we will do, we will differentiate both sides with respect to time. So what we will have, we will have two Z, DZ DT, to X, DX DT, to Y, DY DT. All of them are uh, functions with time. 
divide both sides. Now, what, what is given? What you want? You want this? This is given, 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 given. Just divide by two z, and you will have tz dt. When you divide by two, it will be cancelled, and you will have one over z. Now, substitute. Don't substitute here, Jama. You need to substitute after the differentiation. Now, the question is: I have x and y. X is given. Y is given. What is z? I can use this relationship to find what is z. I will use the Pythagorean theorem. So if you, uh, this is x, this is y, what will be z? z will be, of course, this squared plus this squared, which is 6 over 100, 8 over 100. If you square them, it will be 100. Under the square root, it will be, of course, uh, 0.1, 100 over 1,000. Uh, 0 0.1 kilometer, this is z. So plus, now you substitute, this is z, this is x, this is uh, dx, don't forget that it is negative, and this will be negative. And it is, it is expected, yes, about that also this will be negative. If you got, if you obtained a positive, uh, this means that your solution is wrong. You did something wrong. Because it is expected that the dz, dt, dz, dt, will be negative. Why? Because it is going to increase. The distance between the two cars will be increasing. Decreasing, sorry. It will be getting smaller and smaller. So the distance between A and B will be smaller. And because of that, its rate of change will be negative. So this make sure that you, this will uh, uh, confirm that your solution is okay if there is no other mistakes. But if you got, for example, positive, this means that there's something wrong. Any question, Shabab? Is that clear? I wish you got the idea, Shabab. It is the same, almost the same idea. Just these are the main ideas. Uh, we have also, I think, uh, another idea in example number five. So most of the questions, as you can see in the old exams, are, are coming from these five examples. Let's read this example. Also, I will give you 20 seconds to read it. And try also to figure it out. Take paper and pen and try to draw the problem if you want. If you can sketch the figure of the problem, you will be able to solve it. Uh, Mr. Ahmed. Yes. Can you go back to the, the, the example four? Just I want to check the answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. So what do you want to check? No need to use a calculator here, Shabab. It is very easy. This is one over 100. This is six over 100. This is eight over 100. You can cancel them easily. Thank you, thank you. I checked it. A man walks along a straight path at speed of 1.5 meter per second. A searchlight is located on the ground six meters from the path and is kept focused on the man at, at, at what rate is the searchlight rotating when the man is eight meters from the point on the path closest to the searchlight? So what we have, what is the shape that we have here? Triangle. It is going to be triangle, I think, yes. So let's figure, the, uh, so we have a man walks along a straight path. So this is, a, this is, let's say, this is, this is a path. This is a road. The man is walking here. Let's say that he, he was here at the beginning and at the end he's here. So the man is here now. So this is the man. Uh, so if we call this, if we call it X, usually the vertical, Shabab, we will call them the first. Uh, so we have the X, DT equals to, is it positive or negative? I cannot decide now. What do you think? It depends on a man walking along straight path at speed of, I don't decide until now. A searchlight is located on the ground six meter from the bat. So let's say it is here. The distance between the bat and the light. So the light is here, the, the searchlight. It is what he said, it is six from the bath and is kept focused on the man, huh? So this is the camera, it is like searchlight, focused on the man. Uh, so when we, he, when, was he, when he was here, and after that, it will be focused on him when he here, when he here, so, and so on. So it is about, is, he is getting away from this, so it will be increasing. 
At what rate is the searchlight rotating? So, of course, the searchlight, if it is like this, it will be rotated like this, in this direction. So let's say this is the this is the man, and at this at, at so he will keep, of course, move, moving. So let's say at specific time, the the line between him between him and the searchlight it is this one. So here this angle will be changed with time. It is not the same as when he was here or when he was here. So it will be changed. So let's call it theta because it is a variable. It will be changed with time. So at what rate is the search light rotating when the man is eight meters? So when this distance, what we want? We want d theta dt, because he asked me about at what, at what rate the search light rotating. So dh dt, this is what we want. When what? When the distance is eight, when this is eight. So it is increased. It is when it is increasing. So this one will be taban positive. Uh, from the point on the path closest to the searchlight. This is what I said because he is asking about the rate of change when it is moving. When it is moving away from this. So it is going to increase. You can have the same question, but he will ask you what about the rate of change when he get when he get close, when he go to the uh, point, uh, the closest point of the of the searchlight. So it is just depend on the problem. Ask yourself, is the man is going to go away from this or coming to that? So is the distance between the man and the point, is it going to be close, uh, bigger or smaller? And we expect this to be positive also, Shabab. Why? Because here, theta will be increasing. It will not be smaller, it will be bigger. So here we are. I think there were a problem, Shabab, here. 20 in the slides. I think I, I'm going to upload it again. It was 20 because it was from the, another textbook, uh, the picture from all textbook that depend on the uh, units of uh, US units, miles and feet and so on. So I change it to be the same as the example in your book. So I, I'm going to change this to, to six, inshallah, in the slides. Yes, yeah, keep always in mind that you need to download the last versions uh, of the slides from the Blackboard. Sometimes I update them, I, I add some stuffs and remove some stuffs. So when we are uh, finished, you can of course uh, download them. And of course, Shabab, if you notice any mistakes, any th thing that is not okay in the slides, just let me know about it. Because you know, this is the first edition of these slides. So it, it, there might be some uh, errors. So here, let X be the distance uh, from the man to the point on the bar closest to the searchlight. And let theta be the, the angle between the beam. This is the beam, the beam of the, uh, of the searchlight. Uh, and the perpendicular to the bar. So we have X, we have theta. These are my variables. What is given is dx dt, positive. And what is required and what is unknown is d theta dt when x is 8. Now, the relationship, how to find the relationship between x and theta, between my two variables? How, how can I relate them, Shabab? Yes, yes, yes. Trigonometric functions. So because, because we have we have a triangle, so we have here a right triangle, not any triangle, it is right, it will be each is it will be easier. So this is my theta, this is x, and this is fixed, of course. This distance will not be changed, Shabab. Had the masafa here search light, it will be here, it will not be moved, it will not be changed. So it is six. Like in Hadi, it will be changed because it depends is the man is here or here. So this is a variable. So do, don't depend on that. This is a variable. You can call it Z, whatever. He, he, he's not asking about this, by the way. He can ask about the distance between the, the man and this. Another problem you can think about. But he is asking now about the d, d theta dt. So the relationship between them is what? Which one is better to use here, sine or cosine or tan? Um. What I have, I have the opposite, 
this is the angle, this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. When you have the opposite and the adjacent, it is better to use tangent. So the relationship between them is this. X over six, it is tan theta. And solve it for X. This means that X is equal to tan theta. So this is the main relationship that we have. Now, what we will do, we will differentiate both sides with respect to what? To time. So what we are going to have, it will be dx dt equals to six what? Secant squared theta d theta dt. Now, do we have, do we have, uh, what, is, what do we have, what do we want? We have dx dt, I need d theta dt, and I also I have x, so I, my x is given, I have x, well, I will use it. There is no x here. So I need secant squared theta. What is this? So there is no x here. I should find it. Aha. Uh -huh. From where? From here. So now we have tan theta equals to x over 6. When, 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 when x is 8, tan theta will be 8 over 6. So what you will do, you will draw the triangle that you have, the right triangle. This will be eight, this will be six, this will be theta at specific time, and now you need to find secant. What is secant theta? It will be what? You need to find this, because this will be one over cosine theta, and cosine theta, of course, you know that it is the adjacent, the adjacent is six, one over, one over, the adjacent is there, and you need the hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse, Shira Shabab? What will be this? Who can ten. tell me? Ten. It will be the square root of this squared plus this squared. So this will be 64 plus 36, 100. Under the square root, it is 10. So this will be over 10. So it will be what? 10 over 6, it will be 5 over 3. Uh, 5 over 3. So here we are. So it is 1 over 6. D theta, you need to solve it for d theta because this is what we want. So divide by this, divide by this. It will be one over six secant squared theta. And you know that one over secant is cosine. So just find cosine now. So now this is cosine, as we said, cosine is this. So cosine theta is six over 10, which is three over five. Now substitute here by three over five and square it. Why he didn't in the in the next step he did. Why it is late? Plus we have it, Shabab. I can do it from the beginning. Look here, uh, he substitute by dx dt. We have it. It is given. It is 15, 15 over ten. Simplify. It will be one over four. Then substitute by cosine theta. This is cosine theta. Nine over hundred. It is zero point zero nine. And it is expected. It is positive. If you got it negative, it means that you are wrong. Any question, Shabab? Let me make it clear for you if you have any question. Ready, Shabab, to solve any problem from this section? Sir. Yes. Can you repeat the third uh, step, uh, which has cosine square, one over six cosine square? Divide into n, into what is given for you? You have dx dt. This is given, and this is what we want. Yes. So now you have here dx over six equal. I, I want this one. So I will solve this equation for it. It is okay. You can keep it as it is, Yani. No problem. But and he what he did, he solved it for this. So he divided both sides by six secant squared theta. This will be canceled, and you will have d theta dt equals to one over six secant squared theta d, dx dt. Now one over secant is what? This will be one over six. And one over secant, it is cosine squared. Got it? But of course, you can work here, Shabab. This means you can also work here. What is dx dt? It is 0 0.1 equals to six. Secant squared, it is uh, five over three, all squared. d theta dt, now simplify, and you will get the same answer. Uh, how, how did you get the... Uh... 1.5 the theta. 
it is given, 1.5 is given. Dx dt is 1.5. Yes, yes, now and it's clear. The theta, we got it from the triangle. Now it's clear. Thank you, doctor. Welcome. Uh, now, uh, Shabab, uh, I think uh, let's solve this old exam. I, I was planning to start uh, 3.10 today because we are we spend now two classes on 3.9, but it's okay. It deserves. Uh, I have noticed that in the old exams there are some questions that we didn't solve an example about similar to them, like this one. But for the others, you can see for the others, you can, if you have a look, most of them are solved all with, with, with the same idea, with ideas that we have repeated. I don't like when everything is solved, this, this, this will convert math to reading. So please, please don't read to solutions only. You need to practice. ترى يا شباب هذا بيأثر عليكم بالاختبارات بيتهيأ لك انك فاهم لانك قاعد تقرا الحلول ما قاعد تحل ارجوكم تحلوا ارجوكم تركزوا على المسائل اللي زي هاي اللي ما فيها حل هي اللي بت... راح تجهزكم للاختبار صح اوكي ليت اكس اند واي بي ديفرنشبل فانكشنز اوف تي يعني زيهم زي اللي سويناهم قبل يعني they are rate of change of time well دي اكس دي تي از نوت زيرو if x squared plus y squared minus 2x equals to negative 1, then for how many points dx dt equals to 2 dy dt? What is the solution, uh, the plan of sol the solution, Ashabab? Ashabab, so what do you think? Ashabab, what do you think? What should we do? Differentiate uh, both sides. Uh, differentiate this. Differentiate them. Either I'm going to x. 2x ish. dx dt. All of them are function of time. 2y dy dt. The chain rule. Minus 2x. Derivative 2x is 2. dx dt. The derivative with negative 1 is 0. هذه الدرفتر بسطها قسم الطرفين على 2 هذه تروح هاي تصير واي بس هاي تصير واي بس اذا احنا سوينا ديفرنشيشن وبسطنا وبعدين وات از نيكست يا شباب ثينك 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 يعني شوف اذا انت قاعد تذاكر يا شباب رياضيات وما تفكر ما في ثينكينج تاكد ان في شيء غلط يعني you are not you are not studying. Solve for y prime. Solve for y. Dx uh, over dt. Yes, dx over dt. Uh, Take a common factor. The idea is to use this. You can do many things, but the idea is to use this. How can we use this here? نروح نشيل الدي اكس دي تي ونحط مكانها 2 واي دي تي شوف اللي راح اسويها الحين راح تصير اكس بدل الدي اكس دي تي راح اكتب 2 دي واي دي تي اخليها كلها دي واي دي تي بلس واي دي واي دي تي ماينس 2 دي واي دي تي شوف صارت كلها الان دي واي دي تي الحين راح راح اخذ دي واي دي تي كومن فاكتور فراح تجيني 2 اكس بلس واي ماينس 2 dy dt equals to zero. الحين عندك two factors. The product of them is zero. So this is zero or this is zero. واحد منهم هو zero. وإيش رأيك هذا ممكن يكون zero? Is dy dt equals to zero? إذا كان dy dt يساوي zero معناته إن the y is constant. هو قايل لك إن the dx شوف المعلومة هاي. What he mentioned here is important. dx dt is not zero. So this means that this is not zero. So what do you think? This will be zero? No. If this is not zero, the 2y dt will not be zero. And accordingly, dy dt will not be zero. So this one, this one, dy dt is not zero. So this means that what? You have one point. This means that two, this is zero. So this means that y equals to what? Two minus two x. Because this will be zero. Let me write it here. 
2 to x plus 2 minus 2 equals to 0, which means that y equals to 2 minus 2x. So this is y. Next, what is it? What to do next? So you have given a y. And here, 2, 2 minus 2, 2, min, uh, 2 minus 2x. What to do? Find x in the equation. Yes. تعال هنا الاوريجينال ايكويشن حط فيها الايش حط فيها الواي بلس راح تصير الان هذه لو ربعناها تصير حل ربع الفور هذه سميها سميها 1 ماينس تيك 2 از ا كومن فاكتور 1 ماينس اكس ناو سكوير ات ويل بي 4 ذا واي سكويرد ويل بي 4 طبعا ذا تايم از اب يا شباب اف يو وونت تو ليف سو ات ويل بي 4 تايمز 1 ماينس 2 اكس بلس اكس سكويرد ماينس 2 اكس ايكوال تو نيجاتيف 1 One equation in one variable. Can we solve it? Yes. One equation in one variable. Solve it. طلع ال x. Solve it. جيب ال x. راح تحصل على x واحدة بس. Because it will be quadratic. If you have time, uh, I don't have in fact time, unfortunately, because I have another class to follow. Anyway, you will find the value for x. I don't know what is it. Find x. Maybe, مثلا, two or whatever. One value. If you have x, come back here and substitute by what? By x to have y. So he don't. He didn't ask what is x and y exactly. He just asked how many x values you have and y value. So how many points? Points, yes, yeah, It means x coordinate and y coordinate. So we have only one point here. There are there are uh, questions like this. So this is similar to this question almost. No, no, this is not. Uh, you think this one? Similar to this idea, and it is solved. Doctor, okay, yes, it would be like more than one point, like two or three, if x yes. was uh, exactly. two solution exactly. or three. If you have quadratic equation that has two, now now it is quadratic, sir. Huh? The equation is what? Quadratic. Plus, it will be it will be here uh, at most two. Because y, y is linear and uh, x is uh, squared. So you may have two values or one or none. So you, you may have here, the only choice is these. Are, this is not choice now. This is not choice because uh, we have quadratic equation. So we may have no when the solutions are complex, not real. And we may have two when, when the quadratic equation has two different real solutions. It could be one when we have repeated solutions. This means that you will have uh, if you solve it, you will have what? Uh, four, it will be five, x squared, negative eight, negative two, it will be negative 10, x. And this will be plus four, what is plus five? x equals five equals to zero. Divide both sides by two, this will be by five, this will be two. Ah, it is, uh, it has only one solution because this is x minus one all squared. One repeated solution. So x is one. When x is one, two will be what? Zero. So the point that he asking about it is one and zero. Yes, clear. Thank you. Welcome, ya shabab. See you, inshallah, next uh, class. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, doctor. Welcome.